Was it difficult when you first got into journalism, the fact that you wanted yeah. to wear your hijab? I definitely didn't get jobs because of it. They would say like, sorry, like we're just not ready for this. Reporter Noor Tagori shares a thank you note with the journalist who inspired her to face anything. Me. Oh boy. Okay. Dear Katie, my mom will tell you I was six years old when I knew what I wanted to do with my life. I had an unquenchable thirst for collecting stories and asking questions. My dad would tell me there was a field for what I loved to do, journalism. Before I knew how to even properly format a letter, I was watching you every morning on the Today Show while eating my cold cereal and milk. You were one of the few constants in the hustle and bustle of my school mornings. This actually isn't the first time I've written about you either. In college, I wrote a paper on you and I still remember the book, Seen and Heard, The Women of Television News. There are some things they don't exactly teach you in journalism school. There are elements of storytelling and interviewing that you can only get when you tap into your compassion and vulnerability, something I learned watching you. Katie, you perform a service to your subjects by listening with intent and sharing their stories. These conversations take courage and offer the kind of understanding that we all need. You made history as the first woman to solo anchor the evening news. For years, I dreamed of following directly in your footsteps. I wanted to be the first woman in a hijab to anchor the news on an American network. I knew it was possible because of women like you. I remember the first time we shared a meal over overpriced eggs from Sarah Beth's. You told me how you wanted to see the world of journalism expand, diversify, and tell truth rooted in purpose and compassion. You asked me about how I maintain my Muslim American identity while telling journalistic stories. And I told you even when others told me it would be a hindrance, it became my way to connect and build trust with others. I'll never forget how you ended the conversation, saying, I bet you thought you were going to be the one asking all the questions. You reminded me that the best journalists are forever students. Katie, thank you for your service. In gratitude, North. You're so sweet. I'm so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> when I did the evening news, and I was the first woman to do that job, by herself, I think it was such a novelty and it was almost jarring for some viewers. So it was hard. I always knew how important it was to have images projected to other people where they could see themselves or be inspired. So I think of all the young women, little girls, you'll be inspiring who are Muslim and otherwise. I wrote this, I actually like started tearing up because we never get the opportunity to actually share our gratitude with some of the people who really paved the way for us. That's a nice thing to say. I want people to see more people like you telling stories. I would love you to be the first <laughs> uh, hijab wearing <laughs> correspondent on a national television network. It's time for that and I nominate you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.